time. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, now this is the thing. You have to stay over there, okay? Things I am totally grateful for is this dog right here. She's one of the best decisions we've made, huh? Because you're just so much fun. Whether we're aware of it or not, I do feel that when the new year is upon us, we kind of naturally start reflecting on the year before. And I think it's important to do that so that you can learn what to do more of and maybe learn about some things that we need to let go for next year. So as I was reflecting on the year, um, I wanted to, you know, talk about the places I've been. I had an immediate work, I would say, month at the beginning of the year. I got a deal for Hallmark to do a musical. It's my first one that I've ever done. It was so much fun. Um, I think I've made a lifelong friend in Chelsea Hobbs. There was something about working with a strong woman and putting both of, of, of us strong women in a situation that we didn't, <laughs> that oh, <laughs> we thought was very challenging. Um, and I think because of it, we've actually become friends. So the places that I've been to, I mean, Vancouver, it was such a beautiful time. I got to have my family come up and those memories of us walking, going on a hike, even though I did not bring hiking shoes. <laughs> uh, I hiked in my Uggs and I think some of you commented on that picture. Tamara, weren't your ankles cold? And yes, I was freezing. But we had an amazing time. We had hiked to a gorgeous waterfall and there's nothing like the whole entire family kind of just taking that moment and being present and just enjoying the beauty of nature. I loved it. I've been to Tennessee to visit my nephew Triumph and to see how my brother and his wife, you know, live. Their house is so warm and, and loving and welcoming and I got to see my brother as a new dad. Tavier, you are amazing. And Zandy, you make motherhood look so effortless and we both know it's not. <laughs> it's, it definitely is um, blissfully exhausting but also blissfully chaotic and, and challenging and the way you do it is just, it's absolutely beautiful. I got to go to Austin, Texas to see my friends, the McConaughey's, Camilla and Matthew. It's always wonderful to see you guys, to see what you're doing for your community and try, you know, just some of the amazing food. And again, travel with my family. There is nothing like traveling with your family. We started very, very young. Uh, I want to say Aiden was six weeks and Araya was four weeks. And still to this day, we just enjoy just being with each other and learning and growing and seeing and doing things together, I believe just help make our family just a, a, a united family. I got to go to Ireland to shoot one of my favorite films I've ever done in my life. You've seen me talk about it before. It was so much fun. I had an amazing cast, amazing director, and it's something I will never ever forget. And I hope you guys have seen it because around this time, they have made a, an encore airing of um, Haunted Harmony, Murder in G Major. <laughs> um, but I got to work with some of the best actors I have ever worked with. Just phenomenal. I got to experience Ireland like I never have before. The Irish are just wonderful. The food is great. I am a beef and potato kind of a girl. I love me some Guinness. So it was just, it was awesome. Things that I have, hmm, things that I have learned. I feel like this year was a very humbling year for me. 
Um, and I would say spiritually. And this is something that people, this is not something that you would see outwardly. Maybe the people that who truly, truly know me know that there was a shift, there was a change. I feel like it was the first time and I have spoken to you guys before, my spiritual walk. I know you've seen it because I've, I've, I've seen the comments. Um, I have, f not fully, because I'm still working on it. <laughs> That's why it's a humbling experience. Um, letting go and letting God. And that is in every aspect of my life. Like, I've realized that there are certain things in my life that are easy to give to God. Oh, you got this. You can have this. But there were also areas in my life that I was still holding on to. And God will humble you and correct you, not condemn you, but there'll be some correcting. And I remember at first I was like, <laughs> This is uncomfortable. What am I feeling? What is this? But um, then I started to get excited because in our weakest times is actually if you listen and you, and you just let go, breathe, take a breath, you feel that God is with you in the midst of it. And I think this is the year that, that, that I learned truly learned you've you, you, you've you've got to let go and and let God um my career in my relationships there are some people in my life that I thought we were going to be friends forever when it didn't happen um but I learned from it and I am grateful for it. Um, I had an idea of where my career was going to go. <laughs> and then God was like, no, let's do this. Let's do this. And, and, and I am so happy he did. Um, and let's see, I've learned things always work themselves out. And I think this is another example of letting go. Sometimes we always want to control and fix and do. And uh, I've, I've learned that, <laughs> okay, you can try, um, but eventually things always work themselves out. You know, even, even the negative things. You got to stand in faith and know that God is going to fight your battles. That is what I've learned. Sometimes it's important to be quiet. Sometimes it's important to be still. Sometimes it's important not to clack back. Sometimes it's, it's important not to explain yourself. But know that God will always fight your battles. What I'm looking forward to. I love my family adventures. We always like to travel to some destination. We went to England. My, my son, I can't believe I forgot to mention that, my son uh, played soccer in an in a, um, uh, English tournament. It was wonderful. I got to meet so many boys and girls from all different parts of, of the earth, Dubai. I mean, it was, it, 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 was, it was amazing. I'm looking forward to traveling again. And also I'm looking forward to seeing where God takes me in my career. I have learned to kind of sit back, observe, ask. You ask and you shall receive. Don't be afraid to ask. But wait with confidence and peace knowing that God's timing is always on time. Like... We may always feel like it's late, but it's always right on time. And I'm excited for the new, you know, um, adventures in, in, in my acting. I'm looking forward to 
kind of tapping into things that I might be afraid to do, but I know I have to do it to grow. <laughs> um, and I feel like that is on the horizon as well. And I'm also looking forward to using my voice more. I think it's time. So I just want to sign off talking to you, Tamara, in the near future. God willing. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Thank you.